When you look up at the stars, you can also see the space between them. This distance can be in light years, but to our eyes, they appear just a few degrees apart. Because you can trace a circle across the entire sky, each star is somewhere on that circle, separated from the others by a specific number of degrees. If you shoot lines out from a fixed point to two stars, you can trace out an angle between these two lines. This is called the angular distance theta, which is the number of degrees that separates one star from another. From our spot on Earth, objects in the sky can appear really close to each other, so we need smaller units to measure the angular distance. When telling time, we know 1 hour equals 60 minutes and 1 minute equals 60 seconds. In astronomy, 1 degree then equals 60 arc minutes and 1 arc minute equals 60 arc seconds. So there are 3,600 arc seconds in 1 degree and 1,296,000 arc seconds in 360 degrees. Note that angular distance is simply our perception from our spot on Earth. It's not the actual distance. If we look at Orion's belt, the angular distance between the three stars is only a degree or two, but the actual distance between them is hairily massive. Just like watching a pair of headlights at night, the perceived distance between the headlights grows as the object comes towards you and shrinks as it recedes, but the actual distance between the lights remains the same. So what use is angular distance? Stars appear as pinpoints, but objects like the full moon look much larger. If we again shoot two lines, this time to opposite points of the full moon, we get its angular distance from one end of the moon to the other, which is its diameter, so we'll call it the angular diameter. With just the angular diameter and the known distance to the moon, you can accurately approximate the moon's real diameter, called its linear distance. Simply multiply your angular diameter theta in arc seconds by the distance d in kilometers, divided by 206265 which gives you the diameter of the Moon, or its linear distance. This is known as the small angle formula. You can use it to approximate the diameter of the Sun, Jupiter, and even the International Space Station. All you need to know is the distance to the object and the angular diameter. You can use your outstretched hand to figure out the number of degrees between objects in the sky using your fingertips, phalanges, and closed fist. So the next time you're out with friends looking up at the night sky, yank out a little astro mathematics to put a twinkle in your eye and leave your buddies starry-eyed. Many people wonder if you can see an astronaut on the moon through a telescope on Earth. Using the small angle formula, we can figure out if this is true or false. If the actual height or linear distance of the astronaut is 1.8 meters, and the telescope can resolve details as fine as one arc second. Then by inputting these values into the small angle formula, to spot an astronaut in space, she'd have to be a maximum of 371 kilometers from Earth. The moon is 384,000 kilometers away. So no, we cannot see an astronaut on the moon from Earth.